Good morning everybody and welcome to yet another event vlog that requires a 4am start that appears to be coming a speciality on this channel but today is rather a big one as I am off to Wellington Horse Trials with Atty to do the B novice so it's significant for a couple of reasons number one it is our final run ahead of Corn Routine Star Short number two if you've been I'm going to swing around so the lights better if you've been following me for last year you may remember what happened at wellington last year i had the biggest most bizarre confidence knock i've had in my entire life so i feel like today's quite an important one we're taking on some demons but we'll just see how it goes like i said very very early in the morning so i'm not fully awake yet but this event has already been causing me a lot of stress so what i'm going to do is i'm going to chat to you guys in a bit when i'm more awake but before that i'm going to roll all the footage of the course walk as i went to walk the course yesterday and just let the drama unfold just let you guys see what i'm feeling right now <laughs> and what a journey this has been already and then i'll see you when it's light and we're probably in the lorry on our way vix is on tiktok duty Get more in than <laughs> that will not be hard. I did four seconds. Just a quick one for anyone who's new around here. This is the combination that I had a stop at on Atty last year, which would be only I think his second ever stop with me at being novice level. So I was pretty nervous rewalking this combination, even though I knew there was no reason for our stop last year. It was literally just that I'd had a confidence crisis and we completed the rest of the round. So yeah, I, it was really weird rewalking this, knowing we had an issue, but also knowing that there was literally no reason for us to have an issue again. And this is one of the easier combinations on the course. doing a little TikTok. Hello everybody, if anyone's having a bad day, I just thought I'd update you as to how mine's going. I'm at the sunny Wellington Horse Trials, it's beautiful here at the lake. And somehow, whilst walking the course, I've managed to lose my debit card, my ID, my university student card. And in 48 hours time, I am meant to be in Mallorca. So obviously, a credit card would be quite useful. I didn't notice I'd lost it until fence 18, so I'm rewalking the whole course again. I'm meant to be up tomorrow at 4am for eventing. It's currently nearly 6pm and I'm still on site. So I'm having a mare. Guess who's lost all of their ID cards and their debit card? Um, I'm not pointing fingers, I'm actually genuinely not. Obviously mum was doing the TikToks and maybe she didn't realise that the cards were in the back up here and they've all fallen out. So I'm slightly stressed. Mum and George have gone off to look for them. I've been trying to look back through the camera footage and see if I can see when I stopped having them, but unfortunately I literally can't. Oh my goodness. So I'm home trying to print out my numbers for tomorrow and I'm starting to think the universe does not want me to go eventing. Attempt two did not go any better. There you go, now you have a little bit of an insight into the chaos that unfolded yesterday. It's got lighter, we're on the road. I'm still not awake, <laughs> so I'm still not going to talk for very long because I'm not feeling very chatty at all. But off to Wellington, I realised I haven't really spoken about what we're doing. We're doing the B Novice, which is a little bit different to last year where we did the Open Pony Club Jumps. It theoretically runs over the same course, or it did last year, but I didn't have my qualifications for Pony Club Jumps this year in time because I started my event season a little bit later because I was at university. So in some ways, it doesn't really matter. It's a nice no-pressure run. Again, a very star-studded section, you know, all the typical big names, Laura Collar, etc, etc. So it's more for us to have a good, confident run ahead of Cornbury than anything else. The dressage test is my least, one of my least favourite. It doesn't suit Atty that well. It's very, very fast and lots of very showy-off, you know, mediums and laterals. So really, we're just going for experience. It's a tick box. It's a get 
get around it, have fun, and hopefully feel really, really good for Cornbury. But I'm not going to waffle on because I'm, I'm not very chatty this morning. <laughs> Right, we've arrived and I'm running stupidly ahead of time. Atia's bridle on. I don't know if you can actually see him. Studs in and I have half an hour so I need to be ready. So, well, more than that, really. So I could have had an extra half an hour in bed. Oh well. These are some of the international dressage arenas. We've got so much time. We're actually gonna go and walk the show jumping now, which is in the distance. I cannot believe how misty it is. I feel like autumn's here. Pretty sizable last fence, but the course has walked. We've got to go now. I thought we're going to run late. Sorry, guys, I still have not found a suitable sort of camera spot in the lorry so you get uh, this horrible angle of just my floating head pretty much but i'm going to speak to you while i get ready because time is getting tight since we squeezed in walking the show jumping course oh my goodness my jacket needs a wash i've been to the secretary again and asked them again if they've had any bank cards ids student ids handed in still nothing i've left my number they're really sweet but i think that's probably a no i cannot work out how it could possibly have got lost on site and then not found either by us because we rewalked the course yesterday like three times just looking for the bank card or by someone else who might have handed it in and people who go eventing are usually really really genuine like such a lovely community of people so I really would have expected if someone found it they'd hand it in um, so I'm sort of kissing goodbye to that you alright? yeah? it's five past is it five past now? Four past so we are ready to go as you can see what time do you dress at? 24 past look Same as uh, on Star, and that was a good day, so I hope that's a positive omen. Okay, it's time to do a dressage voiceover and you may be pleased to hear that for once I actually remembered to save my dressage sheet so I can give you some of the judges scores and feedback but what I will say before our test even starts is that warm up was dismal to ride, it was even more dismal to watch. Somehow, even though we started off really ahead of time, the warm up just disappeared, it just went. I think we were running a little bit early in my arena and I think I ended up going in a few minutes early, but I didn't have the warm up I wanted. I didn't go over the lateral work and some of the movements in as much depth as I would have liked. And I feel like that really comes across at the start of this test. We started with a poor halt. I'm not even gonna comment on that because that's homework. That's something that is gonna just keep coming up and I know that I need to go away and work on. And then he didn't pick up that well after the halt. The trot has less sort of power and oomph and this is a action-packed section of the test so that was not the trot we needed. We got a six for our medium which I would say it, I think that's a bit harsh. I thought medium was all right. Maybe six is fair. I might have given it six and a half but I'm not a judge. This leg yield also got a six and it was dismal. It was really really bad. Like I said, didn't feel that I did the lateral work in as much depth as I should have in the warm up because I felt quite rushed and that really shows in both of these leg yields. It's a long way to leg yield in a novice test, I will say that as well, from the centre line over in quite a short sort of period. It's tough. We got a 6.5 for the next movement which is a stretchy trot on a serpentine. Atty does this really well. 
And I took a little breath here and was like, right, come on, Flo, you know, that's probably the hardest section of the test, the quickest section of the test, maybe I should say, out of the way, pull yourself together. It's not been going that well. I was also thinking a lot about Aston. If you watch my Aston event vlog, I did a test that felt really nice to ride, but he was a fraction overbent for a lot of it, and that really affected our mark. We got a 39. So every time he felt good in my hands, I was just panicking and going, oh no, does that mean he's slightly overbent? And I think that really shows in this test because our contact is not as consistent and steady as before. So we're about to do a walk to canter, which got a 6.5, but if I'm honest, I think was blooming marvellous. <laughs> I've been trying to nail this walk to canter on him for the longest time. He anticipates it so much. So to get him there and pull it off, I was actually pretty pleased with. And I feel like this canter work already looks slightly better than our pretty poor trot work. We got a 6.5 that medium canter. And then we got a 7 for this change of rain through trot, which is nice to see. And then we're about to do another transition to canter, which we've got another 6.5 for. So the second half of this test is bringing my mark up. It's 6.5s and 7s rather than just lots of 6s. Which is good, his canter work is generally his strongest sort of phase of the test, which is good. We've got six for this medium and they said no difference in steps. I guess they weren't as obvious as they could have been, but that's a bit of a shame. And we got a seven for this change of reins through trot as well. And now we're coming to the very closing stages of this test. It's been very bland, hasn't it? Very lacking in anything exciting, any substance. Got a 6.5 for our centre line and then a 6 for this halt. Halt, that's my homework. Go away and work on these trot halts and halt trots because they're in every test. Come on Flo, you can do a better job than that. And I left in this clip at the end because look at all the mist coming off the grass. I just think that is some absolutely gorgeous cinematography for you all. So dressage done. I would say not our best test. Day. It didn't give me a very nice feeling. The massive positive was his walk to canter because I've been working on that and he's had it in him for ages and he's just never quite been able to hold it all together. So that I was really happy with and I would be interested to see what Mark we got for that because I thought it was pretty good. I haven't watched it back. But the trot work was just very meh. Um, if you saw like everything that happened at Aston and the judge saying that I was like a bit too overbent. Every time he was leaning on me I was fiddling too much and it just the contact, the basic contact wasn't there, which then made doing some of the things like the leg yields and the um, medium trot like way more difficult. So yeah, not the best test. I think it will be high 30s, which is a shame, but I guess at least the canter work I was happy with. Right, the time is 8.36. Oh, and I've got a text all about my holiday, telling me to check in to the airline. That's very exciting. It's not the point of the vlog. Got about an hour and 15 till I'm due to show jump, so a little bit of time for to start getting ready and warming up, which is actually quite nice not to be sort of manic running around. We're under control, I think. So I wanted mum to guess the dress I'll score along with me. We're down Dan today, so it's just the two of us. But because she's been so far at last a couple of times, she doesn't want to play the game. I just guess. I don't want to put the kiss of on it. How about you tell me? I'm normally me... quite good and the last few times it's, it's been popped on, I've been out by about five marks so I'm going to go. <laughs> I think it's going to be 38.5. Okay. Yeah. We shall have to wait and see. Will you tell me off camera what you think it's going to be and then I can tell the vlog if it was close with high. If you really want me to. I've put my coffee on the cone. That's so bizarre. Why is that? trying to amuse myself. Our next competitor, number 105, this is Flo Carter, riding Ormond Down, and they bring forward dressage of 36.3.
Show jumping all done and I thought Atty jumped really 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 nicely obviously we had the last down but I can live with that my reins slipped a bit and I was struggling to get them back and I think I said in the vlog that the last fence was big wide uphill so I didn't want to sort of fiddle with him I just wanted to push on and see that stride and ultimately it was too long we had it down but that's fine I can live with that now on to cross country I also had some very exciting news that my cards have been found and handed into the secretary so I am very, very, very pleased with that. I'm very grateful to whoever handed them in. That has just saved me a lot of stress and my mood has lifted considerably before cross country. There's obviously lots of jump out there. But at the moment I'm not feeling too bad. I'm about to stop, go through like my minute markers and the fences and the stridings and the combinations and go from there. How are you feeling? Nervous. What about? Cross country. Specifically the fences? <laughs> just all the big, all of the big fences. Well, you're gonna have to stop around there. Just come 
completed her first year at Loughborough studying history. Well done, Ashy. Yeah, he was really good and he's really clever as well, actually. Today it's been, I am not going to talk too much about the first two phases because I feel like I've sort of kept you updated but I can't remember if I ever said my dressage score in here it was 36.3 not totally disappointing obviously I always said I'd like it to be the other side of 35 but I felt my trot work wasn't great so what can you do show jumping I thought he jumped epically honestly not fast at all about that last pole it's just one of those things on to cross country and as you can probably imagine I was quite nervous I felt that I had some serious demons to overcome from this track last year and I totally messed up the first two fences like buried him into them so I was thinking oh no Flo what have you done it's a repeat of last year oh no <laughs> so it took loads of time to set him up to fence three he jumped that beautifully and four and as a result I was down on my first minute marker by about 10 seconds which isn't great so so I whizzed on through the next few fences, looked down to check my watch and I was five seconds down on my second minute marker so I'd made up some time and I look up and a red flag is being waved which I think I got some footage of from actually a couple of different angles so yeah that was very unfortunate essentially it wasn't anything serious luckily the person before me had knocked the frangible pin off one of the skinnies i will try and put the fence that i mean up on the screen now and so they had to stop me so that they could fix the fence i've never been held on course before it's not something i've ever had to deal with and i will say i'm very very grateful because about 20 minutes after me i know some people were held on course for almost two hours as there was a really serious accident so I was only held for, you know, tops five minutes, if that. But it definitely threw me. Luckily, the amazing Liv Irby, Liv and Harvey, if you follow her on Instagram, was actually the fence judge, which was really helpful because I was like, right, where did you stop me? Where can I restart? You know, I was stressing out. But stupidly, what I didn't do is stop my watch. So when they hold you on course, if you're not that familiar with eventing, they take your time. And supposedly it shouldn't disadvantage you at all because you can go back to where they took your time when they stopped you and gallop through the same point and restart. Obviously, in reality, there probably is an element of disadvantage because we'd lost our rhythm, we'd lost our like adrenaline a little bit and I forgot to stop my stopwatch. So I was then riding the rest of the course pretty blind, not knowing what the right time was or what the wrong time was. And then we got a little bit sticky at the first couple of jumps after we were restarted, which is kind of understandable. So after that, I thought, you know what? Let's just play it safe. Let's just sort of cruise home. We've got some, some fighting to do. And actually he jumped the course so nicely, I had a really good time, which is, you know, it's what we come to do. So I'm really, really chuffed about that. I came home in the end with about 30 seconds of time, which is disappointing. I think mum and dad were a bit frustrated, but I wouldn't change it. You know, he gave me a nice feeling. He helped me out in a few places where, you know, combinations didn't ride super well. He was really honest and it was the perfect pre-corn brew run. So that leads us on to a busy September. We have Cornbury Two Star Shaw in two weeks time. And then theoretically, although it isn't entered yet, in a month's time, Osberton Two Star Long. And those will be Atu's final two events of the season. And actually what a way to prepare for it, to go around a course that you had problems with last year. Claire, 
So very, very happy. I also want to say to the lovely lady who came and said hello to me and said that she watches my YouTube videos. Um, when I was being restarted, I'm really sorry if I came across grumpy or moody. I promised that I, I'm not. I was just being restarted and my mind was in so many different places. I was like, oh, OK. Um, so, yeah, I'm really sorry that wasn't more chatty. Um, but thank you very much for coming up and saying that. And actually, thank you to everyone over the last like few days. This and Blinley Heath, who's been so friendly and coming and said hi. It honestly makes me smile so, so much. Anyway, I've been waffling for nearly four minutes, so I'm going to leave the vlog there, but I'll see you very, very soon. Exciting times ahead for Atu. And if you like this video, subscribe. Bye.